Wah, Mulan. You guys think a Tyra will play a frontline character this game? You want to have the pleasure of playing a backliner? Oh my gosh, she's actually doing it. We might be in there. All right, the question is, what do I play with the Wu Kong? Should I play a mage or a hunter? I don't play a hunter. Hmm. Hmm. I just don't know who to play. Couldn't do anything to stop her. She got in and out. Yeah, I mean, they comp themselves. They didn't pick well into it. I want to play this. This sounds fun. I'm down for it. I mean, I said it at the start of the game. They can't dive me because Kulu and uh, Kakolin is not sufficient dive for a thought. And they can't stop Sir Kit because Kulu and Kakolin can't peel that. <laughs> and then on top of that, we have a Wukong that can do like a very similar thing where he's just too safe. So they can't reliably focus out any target. So you'll just eventually lose. Morgan Lefay. Sobek Mulan. So Sobek Mulan is pretty scary for me. In fact, really scary for me. That's a very difficult uh, matchup any way you look at it for me. But I do believe I can manage. We'll find out. Could have been a Yu Huang game. That god's pretty good. With a lower health bar since you can actually one-shot people and he's really safe. Discordia? I think was another one that I could have looked at here. Because Discordia has a pretty good matchup into Mulan. I can very re easily reactively uh, jump her grapple. As well as empower my Sun Wukong. But we'll be meeting down whatever their backliner is here. Pick Ares. Yeah, Ares is very good against uh, divers like Sir Ket and Wukong. Ares is good. Ardeo is very good. Uzinbo, very good at stopping that kind of nonsense. The Bracken is alright. Or you could have something that um, is really good at just 1v1ing the character in general, poking them out. Like Osiris is very powerful in matchups like that. Achilles is pretty good because they can't really kill him. But Achilles isn't great at like chasing him out. Or if they had better dive for the Thoth, that would have been another way they could win that. But, yeah, the draft just worked out in our favor there. So, provided we are good enough, the uh, communication differential will never be enough to overcome that. Like, with matchups like that, it's mainly just on, like, we need to play bad for them to win. Excuse me, Misty. Good luck on them not banning Achilles. <laughs> Alright, so. Notes for this game. Wukong and Jormungandr. Those guys are never peeling for me, right? So. I'll be playing this game mostly alone. Which is fine. I'm okay with it. We'll go Doom this game. Don't really need the anti-heal. So we'll go Doom, Sands of Time, Charon's Soul Gem, Shard, and then Reaver. That's the build. And I'll just have to watch my spacing very carefully and respect blink plays and blink distance.
Alright, so we gotta make sure there's no one peeking any corners here. See the relics real fast. Aegis. Alright. Shall and horrific. This Og needed a little silly there. The wave is cleared. They are level 4 with Ogni level 3, because he missed some stuff, it would appear. If we kill two smalls on this, we will hit level 4, though. I don't really want to use my abilities too willy-nilly. Because this wave is meeting. And I can't really walk in there safely, so... Let's drop my entire kid on the wave, Horn Shard, and try and see if I can come over here and help. Alright, so I did a lot of poke, cleared the wave. And we all live, so that puts us in a really good spot going in to this next wave. Alright, very good. And no more farm to get, so... Try and peel for this guy. Clear the rest of this wave. I have ult. If they mess up, we actually can kill them at this point. I could just ult this guy. I think now backing for me is out of the question. On the stay. I don't want to clear without Wukong. So I might, might just go for poke with my abilities here. Ooh, he almost got caught. Gotta try and get Yorm level 5. I think I might have to take a back opportunity here, but they are low, so they're gonna have to let us have pressure on this wave. Should have made that go out further. Alright, Wukong's five now. Let's auto attack this down. They need to save some mana. Might be able to contest. Alright, we'll use that Wukong ult. Try and maybe pull this. My two does a lot of burst damage, so. Might be able to get this once it's like 200. Huge. Delightful. Alright. It's won this wave and we're out. Completed. I think he's dead. I can't really save him though, so. Oh nice. Impressive. I like what I see. Not bad. He was guaranteed dead there, so getting a kill is Delightful. completely fine. Let me clear this wave first, so we don't miss any of it. Then we get this blue. Norm is taking a minute to get here, but we should be able to pull it out for him. I'm gonna play for purple. I'm probably backshotting a one a backliner. I respect that. He's taking a lot of damage. I'm dead. Shoot. Huh. Well, that is brutal. I missed my first ult, and that got me killed. I saw the opportunity, though. But yeah, unlucky. I think maybe Yorm could have gotten in front of that pluck, but... It was my own greed that caused that, so... Only myself to blame. Okay, we'll get, uh, Karen's coin next year. Karen's coin! Little soul gem. Dang. If that hit in time, he would have died. Shroud of Wildfire. Oh, he got killed by him. That's no good. 
a bit greedy to stand there. It's all right. It's all right. We can figure it out. Unfortunate. Shroud of wildfire. Ban Sobek. Yeah. I ban Sobek every game. When I'm the one banning. But we have little attire around here banning Achilles, so... It'd be how it be. I would much prefer my matchup into an Achilles here than a Sobek. But my tank players might not say the same, so. Okay with that. Let him have that. I do damage these guys. Went to no damage. Rick and Mortis. Hmm. I'm a little bit of a terrified backliner when it comes to this dealing with this Sobek, though. I mean, at this point, if he plucks, he dies, so. That we're okay with. I guess we'll be seeing each other. Nothing to fight for. So I will take it back as well, since I do have an item to get. Just a little spike. Power can be taken. Who bought? He is looking a little dead there. He's taking, like, no damage, though. He might actually make it out. Nice. Had to get my beads for that, but... At least we got him! That is big. Unfortunately, he does die. Your middle tower is under attack. Gotta respect this corner. Embrace the burning shroud. Mulan is OP. He's alright. One could say. That guy's kind of healing a little bit. Yeah, blink now. Right. A curse of agony. What the? That's bombing. Bro, be bombing. All right, the coin is online. Feeling a bit better now. Get a little Aegis action going. Could have got blank this game. Don't think I favor it though. This guy's finally getting some magic D. But luckily we have the percent pen online. Road stroll. You're dealing some deeps. Thank God he missed that. He definitely could have hit that and ended my life. That was nice. I have to wait for my Wukong here.
Double clone action. You're gonna die for this. Luckily, he is playing the Kong, so. He does have that escape from jail. Did not want to eat that for free. You're gonna die. Hope not. Well, doing the damage that I can, where I can, and when I can. And they shouldn't be able to get this. Oh my god. If he hadn't interrupted my one the first time, he would have died, dude, because he would have had to jump. That is so unlucky. If I had pre-beads... If I had beads in the animation of my one, I would have killed him. <laughs> that is unlucky. Or at the very least gotten his Aegis. But I don't think that would have been worth it if I killed him. Or if I got his Aegis for it. Like using my beads. I need my beads. Bad blink? He does. Alright. What the heck? This guy is insane. Might have? Nah. I was gonna say might have bailed him out. The Soul Reaver can't come soon enough, and I'm still in the middle of building a different item, which is kind of unlucky. Returned a lot of damage there, but... Okay. Goodbye. Kind of being a little silly as well. And we are able to wiggle out of that. Need to pull up and help him. Chop him down, clone! I'm scared of this guy. I'm that scared. We have to wait for some cooldowns, though. I'd be able to cut him off. Nice. And now I need to get out of here before I get blinked on by Mulan. But this is, uh... She is coming straight here, though. <laughs> I must run. Be right back. Alright, she can't kill him, so I'll just let him get slapped, I guess. Their lives are all forfeit. Reaver next. A spell most and we will be in a good spot. She actually almost killed him. Alright, she did kill him. She died for it. So that is a negative trade for him. That is completely okay with me. <laughs> and it's completely okay with the Orm, too, because that is a positive trade for us. I move on. Being a little silly there. He's gonna kill this guy. Yeah, I just wanted to make him use the jump or dash. Wait, he has double clones beating him down, dude. Completed. <laughs> Bro, I was actually getting cloned on. Get it? Cloned on? No one? <laughs> Some nice combos. It's looking pretty nice.
Time to get to that later game stage, yeah. And now the Soul Reaver's online. So my damage is gonna look very nice. Ended up thinking I need the Soul Reaver before the Shard. Which I think is quite warranted. Their health bars are just now getting into that Soul Reaver threshold. So if I wanted to have Shard by now, I would have had to buy it instead of Soul Gem. Which would have been fine. But I just wanted the little bit of cooldown as well as the really good sustain coming from the Soul Gem. Also, Sobek has Amulet of Silence. Something to keep an eye on. Can't discount that. I do good damage to this guy now. Sobek is quite low. Let's run for my life from this guy. Drop relics to respect his damage. Simple enough. Now I just let my team take his CC instead of me. I will use my ear portion of my one. Get my ult back. GG. Very nice. Not over yet, but should be able to put out some good damage under this Titan. I guess we'll be seeing each other. Taste the wicked blade. Alright, let's use it as a retreating tool. I was hoping to maybe get some more Titan damage with that. But well, that makes it so that the Titan actually is killable from this stage. And I can get my um, timeline here. Definitely buy that over Shard, I think. Arise and crush them! Now let's respect the opponents being somewhere near. Run back here. Tanks are so squishy. Oh yeah, they are easier to kill. You just have to respect them, because they hurt you too. I need the jungle buff. Hey Ornos! Oh, did not mean to click that button. How are you feeling this game? Hey Ornos, thank you for the primer! How are you doing, man? Hug this wall. Relics are up soon. Alright. I hit him, so... He's gonna be running for a while. Can end this game easy. How bad do they want to kill him? Pretty sure that fire wave will end, so. <laughs> We're on the way, boys! Which way are you gonna go? No! <laughs> Good, good. Been having fun testing stuff. Same. It's been a good time. Morgan the Fae felt pretty darn solid there, even though uh, Mulan Sobek is not exactly the most favorable front line for me to go into. I was able to play around it and uh, have a really big impact on the Morgan the Fae there. Get to the late game and uh, bust some heads. So, GG's. I want to see how Midgard with T2 Midgard is against an auto attacker. Sounds like it would be pretty effective against the Jormungandr and Fafnir Breath. <laughs> Sheesh. Backpack dab. What did they do to him? What did it say to report?
backpack dab and restrian j7 unlucky well last time in that build was obsidian shard damage looking good out damaging the poke master himself sun wukong is always a feat so nice very nice and a large portion of that reason or a large reason Maybe portion of the reason was right. But a large reason why I was able to operate fluidly was because my teammates were taking so much of the CC from them. Or operate freely, I should say. There definitely was, you know, a little bit of CC put on me, mainly from Mulan. But I'm able to, I am typically, as a backliner, able to play around one guy diving me. It's when two guys start diving me where it gets a little tricky. So, feels good for me.